Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change account local threshold for local accounts in Windows 10 and Windows 11. The process for doing this change on um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 is the same thing. So let me go into the run now. I'm going to run this command secpo.msc or rather let me i'm not going i don't want to use this system let me use my vm so i currently have um, a local account and also a local account that is an administrator so let me check which one of them I am currently on. Okay, I'm currently on the ad administrator. So I'm going to run now. Let me. So this is the command secpo.msc. Let me open it. So now we have a local security policy open. So once it's once it is opened, you can expand the account policies. Once that one is expanded, you get to see account lockout policy. Click on it. You will see by your right the policy, the current status of the policy. You will see account lockout threshold is showing zero invalid logon attempts. What this means is that even if you are using wrong password your system will not get locked out but if you want to get locked out after some sign on attempt then you have to configure or set the lockout threshold let us double click on it so let's put it at three three sign in attempts then let us apply it so once you click apply or ok you will see this other settings to will pop out so it it will automatically ask you that uh, this will be set up for you but you can as well change it by yourself um you can see the top, the second one here saying allow administrator account lockout so which means if I click OK, it's going to enable administrator account lockout as well. As, which means if I enter a wrong password on my administrator account, it's going to get locked out. Uh, the account lockout duration is 10 minutes here. You can change it, you can reduce it, you can you can increase it. Then also you can reset. This will reset the account lockout count after 10 minutes. You can as well change this 10 minutes to your own choice. So now let me just click OK. Let me click OK on this one too. I want to reduce the lockout duration. I will reduce it to 2 minutes. Apply. So I've reduced it. I've also enabled administrator account lockout. So now let's test it. I'll be going into the local account now. So let me go into the account. So I'll be entering wrong password now. Let's see whether the account will get logged out. That's the third attempt. So let's try it for the fourth time. Can you see? Now this account has been logged out. The reference account is currently logged out and may not be logged on to. So we have to wait for two minutes for it to 
reset or for you to be able to log in again so after two minutes you'll be able to log in so um same thing if i try to use wrong password on my this is my administrator account this one to get logged out The wrong account I entered. I don't know why it's rolling. <laughs> okay. So let me enter third time. need to check uh, the other account I think it's more than two minutes now so let's I think this should be the okay this is the third time on the admin account So I don't know why it's rolling. It should be soon be done. So I just want us to confirm. Okay, now the admin account has been logged out. So we have the admin have to wait for two minutes. So let's go back to the other account, the local account that is not an admin. Let's see whether we can log in now. After waiting. Yes, we are good now. So this is um, how you can set the account lockout threshold. It's very easy, both on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And you can as well, if you want to change the settings back, you go through the same uh, process. So I think um, you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.